then letter. Book of Revelation is not only a prophecy, it's a letter. Chapters 2 and 3 contain messages to seven different congregations. But the whole book itself is a circular letter that was to be shared and read by the different churches. When you get into chapters 2 and 3, you got the letters to the different churches addressing different issues in each church, okay. But uh, many like to point out, well, the whole book is going to be circulated to all the churches. So the whole book itself is a circular letter. The vision John saw was identified as a revelation that comes from the Greek word apocalypsis. The use of that term, along with the book's hypersymbolic characteristics, suggests it should be categorized as Jewish apocalyptic literature. We have some types of literature they didn't have back then, science fiction. They had some types of literature we don't have now. They had prophetic literature, and in particular, this apocalyptic literature. There were non-biblical Jewish writings of this style that were predominantly written 200 years before and after the birth of Christ. So there were a few books around in this type of literature. The most prominent section of this form of writing in the Old Testament is found in Daniel chapter 7 through 12 which is referenced by the book of Revelation. So there's a lot of references to the book of Daniel and these particular chapters, because there's going to be some direct connection here. This style of literature was often used in times of great distress to reveal the events on earth from God's perspective. Events are shown to be part of a greater spiritual battle that's going on behind the scenes. And so you can appreciate why this type of literature would be uh, have good application to some issues that are going to be going on here in the book of Revelation. In the book of Revelation, the human powers that afflict the righteous on the earth are exposed as being willing pawns that are being used by evil spiritual powers. The tedious struggles of downtrodden followers of Christ are revealed to have, have significance to Christ and his kingdom rule, and they're encouraged that they will be victorious no matter how bad things appear. So this type of literature is often used when people are going through terrible times of stress, and it's showing kind of the spiritual, behind the spiritual curtain, what's kind of going on in the background here, and showing them that uh, there's greater things going on than you see on earth. There's a greater spiritual battle behind this thing. And it's showing that you're part of this spiritual battle, and that God is aware of your situation. He's with you, and he's helping you through it, and you're going to be a winner no matter what. So this was kind of the type of literature you use for such uh, dramatic situations of great pressure for people, and in this case, uh, for Christians. Well, hello and greetings to WFR Livestream. 